Hi, everyone, and welcome to your daily devotional for Wednesday, June 10th, 2020. As always, it is a joy to be with you. Our prayers today come from a resource called Let Us Pray, Reformed Prayers for Christian Worship. It is a publication of Geneva Press. Take a moment to center yourself and let us prepare to be in God's presence. We begin by turning to Psalm 29, and this reading and all of the readings come from the Common English Bible translation. Listen now for God's word to us. You divine beings, give to the Lord. Give to the Lord glory and power. Give to the Lord the glory due his name. Bow down to the Lord in holy splendor. The Lord's voice is over the waters. The glorious God thunders. The Lord is over the mighty waters. The Lord's voice is strong. The Lord's voice is majestic. The Lord's voice breaks cedar trees. Yes, the Lord shatters the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon jump around like a young bull, makes Syrian jump around like a young wild ox. The Lord's voice unleashes fiery flames. The Lord's voice shakes the wilderness. Yes, the Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The Lord's voice convulses the oaks, strips the forests bare. But in his temple, everyone shouts, glory. The Lord sits enthroned over the floodwaters. The Lord sits enthroned, king forever. Let the Lord give strength to his people. Let the Lord bless his people with peace. Let us pray. Loving God, you are our shield and our defender. Over and over again, you have shown your faithfulness to us. Even so, there are many times we do not trust you completely. When the worries of life lead us to despair, we are not trusting you. When we seek answers everywhere but from you, we are not trusting you. Forgive us, loving God. Help us to trust you more so the world will see your work in us. Amen. Our Old Testament reading today comes from the book of Job. We'll be reading chapter 39, verse 26, through chapter 40, verse 5. Listen for God's word. Is it due to your understanding that the hawk flies, spreading its wings to the south? Or at your command does the eagle soar, the vulture build a nest on high? They dwell on an outcropping of a rock, their fortress on rock's edge. From there they search for food. Their eyes notice it from afar, and their young lap up blood. Where carcasses lie, there they are. The Lord continued to respond to Job. Will the one who disputes with the Almighty correct him? God's instructor must answer him. Job responded to the Lord. Look, I'm of little worth. What can I answer you? I'll put my hand over my mouth. I have spoken once. I won't answer. Twice, I won't do it again. After all these verses of God admonishing Job for thinking he knows better than God, Job finally gets to speak, and he admits that he misspoke. Have you ever been called out for saying something you shouldn't have? How did you respond? Our gospel reading today comes from the gospel according to John. We'll be reading chapter 14, verses 25 and 26. Listen again for God's word. Jesus says, I have spoken these things to you while I am with you. The companion, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and will remind you of everything I told you. Since this is the word of God for the people of God, thanks be to God. 
This is part of Jesus' farewell discourse, where he is preparing his disciples for his death. He foretells of the coming of the Spirit, which we recently celebrated on Pentecost. How has this Spirit moved in your life? Let us pray. God, we thank you for those who put their lives on the line in the search for peace with justice. May hardened attitudes be broken down and wounded souls healed, that your peace may come and your will be done through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Friends, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace on this day. Go in peace. I'll see you tomorrow.